welcome to my channel for those of you who are coming back welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new welcome to my channel if you're looking for style tips fashion tips beauty hacks um, skincare ideas as well as wellness ideas then you're in the right channel and on today's video we're gonna talk about beauty health and wellness so stay tuned so on this video we're gonna talk about eight ways to make your skin glow over time according to my experience and to some research I have gathered so are you ready so the first tip that I have is hydration or drink your water I know you're probably thinking everybody's telling me to drink water yes because it's very important to you um, proper hydration levels help the skin to become plump and improves its elasticity elasticity meaning it's less likely to crack and have irritations and blemishes so drinking water or hydration is not only doesn't only nourishes your skin it also good for your body overall and if you do want to fight off your wrinkles and give your outer layer a healthy glow do not allow yourself to get hydrated dehydrated um, so drinking water helps you improve elasticity which helps fight gravity and the more elastic your skin is the less is prone to sagging and wrinkles and water as some of us know is a key component for collagen all right, so the other thing that you want to incorporate into your diet if you want a healthy glowing skin or food that is high in omega-3 fatty acids is also known as good fat and you can get this from fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, anchovy, herring, sardines, um, pilchard, tuna, mussel, swordfish, trout, and so forth. You can also get this from olive oil, nuts, green vegetables, avocado, coconut. Those are your source of um, good fat. All right, so the third tip that I have is to avoid eating sugar. Sugar is bad. Let's say it that way. Um, sugar is not only bad for your skin, but it's also bad for your body as it can lead to diabetes, a lot of inflammation problems, cancer as well. And for your skin, the sugar can actually make your skin age prematurely. Um, in fact, such as white carbohydrate, which can also lead to sugar in your body, and sugary snacks result in an increased production of cortisol through glycation, a reaction that weakens collagen production. The collagen can improve skin elasticity, reduce visible wrinkles, and increase blood flow to the skin. So collagen is actually very good for your skin um, it is what keeps our skin from sagging giving us that plump youthful look but if you really have a sweet tooth like me I suggest um, you use sweetener I wouldn't recommend the artificial sweetener but I would recommend natural sweetener like stevia um, xylitol and then some fruits that are actually um, has slight sugar on it like berries blueberries raspberries blackberries all right so the fourth tip that I have is to use brightening um, skin serums and moisturizer so for the packaging look for terms such as brightening and skin tone evening and ingredients like vitamin C let's go on to the five tip which is to make sure you get between seven to nine hours of sleep um, sleep in general is important for all the body system and they're functioning right um, but the lack of sleep causes the stress hormone cortisol to be released which in turn encourages inflammation in the skin causing flare-ups in conditions like acne psoriasis and even eczema it also causes decreasing blood flow to the skin surrounding your face and causes skin to become dull you also get those puffy eyes when you don't have enough sleep so make sure you get lots of Z's we're on number six so my sixth tip is actually to exercise um, exercise gets the heart rate pump or up and improves blood circulation which help deliver oxygen and nutrients to the skin and keeps the skin healthy 
promotes collagen production and promotes new skin cells which keeps keeps the skin looking glowing and also help for anti-aging. Um, it also reduces body-wide inflammation, it regulates skin significant hormones and prevents free radical damage. When you exercise, um, the tiny arteries in your skin opens up, allowing more blood to reach the skin surface and deliver nutrients that repair damage from the sun and environmental pollutants. And these nutrients also rev up the skin's collagen production. All right, let's move on to number seven, which is to be happy or to be less stressed. Have you ever noticed those who are happy, particularly those who are in cloud nine or in love, have glowing skin? I've heard that before and I've seen it and it's true. Um, because happiness releases the hormones endorphins, serotonin and oxytocin, which help your body function properly. Your blood circulates well and oxygen is efficiently passed throughout your body. When you have well distributed oxygen and nutrients, it shows in your skin. And you made it. We are now on number eight. So my last tip for you is get your vitamin D, but don't overdo it. Um, often called the sunshine, vitamin D plays an integral role in skin protection and rejuvenation in its active form as calcitrol. As calcetrol, vitamin D contributes to skin cell growth, repair, and metabolism. It enhances the skin's immune system and helps to destroy free radicals that can cause premature aging. Just to do a recap on the things that I've talked about on how to get a glowing skin, the first tip is to hydrate yourself or drink lots of water. Another great source of hydration is coconut water. The second tip that I have is to eat your good fat, such as your fatty fish, salmon, anchovies, and so forth, as well as coconut, olive oil, avocado, and also eat your antioxidants, which are your fruits and veggies. Now, some people do not like the taste of fatty fish, so you can actually supplement it with omega-3 fatty acids, pills, or tablets. The third tip that I have is avoid sugar. Now, there are a lot of hidden sugars on packaged foods such as sucrose, lactose, dextrose that you might want to check it before you ingest it. The fourth tip that I have is to use brightening cream. Now, you, you might want to look for a hydrating hyaluronic acid as well as vitamin C if you're looking for moisturizer as well as serums. Kojic acid is another ingredient that you might want to look at because this is an all-natural lightening and brightening skincare active. Now the fifth tip that I have is to get seven to nine hours of sleep every night if you can absolutely can. The sixth tip that I have is to exercise. My absolute favorite exercise is actually yoga as it helps me with my breathing which in turn relaxes my nerves and calm my mind. The number seven tip that I have is be happy. I do think that being happy is actually underrated when it comes to key components of becoming beautiful or being beautiful because true beauty really comes from within. The positive energy that we actually do have inside of us is if we are happy, radiates outside. And that you can see the true beauty of glowing skin. If you want me to talk about ways on how to be happy, please do leave a comment below. So the last tip that I have and certainly not to list is to get your vitamin D. And the only way to get this is through the sunlight. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you like this video, please press the like button and also press the notification bell if you want to see future videos from me.